Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to go from a decimal to a percent. Okay, so here are some really straightforward examples. What we have here is a decimal. This is read as tenths, hundredths, twelve hundredths, or sometimes you'll see 0 0.12 or 0 0.12. Sometimes you'll see it in different ways. But when we're going from a decimal to percent, what you really have to know is that what we're doing is we're multiplying by 100. And if you were to do that the long way, well, we can do it the long way. It would be 100 times 0.12. And if we did the long multiplication problem, which really isn't that long, we would get, just add this up, we would get this number, we know we go two places, over, and we get our answer is 12. So, going from a decimal to a percent is the same as multiplying by 100. So once we multiply, this becomes 12%. Now we don't have to do that long version, simply we just remember what we do is we take that decimal and move it two places to the right and add our percent sign. We get the same number, 12%. So it is the exact opposite from the last video where we were dividing by 100 to get a decimal. We're doing the opposite, so now we're multiplying by 100. And if you can think of it as moving that decimal toward the percent sign. So let's do a few more quick examples. Here we have 95 hundredths, and we're going to take that decimal, we're going to move it over two places to the right, and we're going to add our percent sign. Now you don't have to move the, de you don't have to see the decimal then. It just simply becomes 95%. Okay? What if there is a decimal in there, and um, we want to change it to a percent? Well, what we're doing now is we're starting from that decimal, moving two places to the right, adding in that zero again as a placeholder, and it becomes 270%. Okay, and here's the next one, or our last one, doing the same exact thing, moving two places to the right, and then it becomes negative 536%. So pretty easy, just have to remember that the decimal is moving toward where you're going to put your percent sign. And we added the percent signs to these numbers too, but I know I rewrote them here. So these are our final answers. And just remember it's moving two places to the right and adding the percent sign. And that's it.